To measure cervical lateral flexion with inclinometers or the cervical range of motion device, position the patient seated in a straight back chair. Make sure the thoracic and lumbar spines are supported. Do not allow lateral flexion of the thoracic or lumbar spines. Screen for difficulty with active range of motion by asking the patient to move the ear toward the shoulder by moving the head. Determine the end feel by applying overpressure while stabilizing the thoracic spine. Stabilize by holding the shoulder on the side of lateral flexion. Record the end feel. It is typically firm for this motion. With the cervical spine positioned neutral, place one inclinometer over the spinous process of C7. Place the other inclinometer over the top of the head. Adjust both inclinometer dials to zero. With the cervical spine at the end of passive range, record the measurements on both inclinometers. The mathematical difference between the two is the range of motion measurement. In this example, the measurement is 30 degrees of right cervical lateral flexion. When using the cervical range of motion device, establish the starting position so the inclinometer on the front of the head reads zero. With the cervical spine at end range, read the measurement from the inclinometer on the front of the head.